Well, good evening. Today, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to make some soup. We're making a, a, a version of uh, Tom Yam. Now, this is very untraditional because uh, I'm using some products, some samples, some salesmen have left me over the week. So, let's check it out. Now, now, today. So here's the ingredients we'll be using here on our Tom Yam soup. Mine is dropping me off some samples. Mine is owned by uh, Nestle now. Yeah, cilantro lime concentrate and fire roasted poblano concentrate. So I was thinking I might use them and try to make some kind of, uh, uh, well, a version of Tom Yam. Normally in Tom Yam, we use none of this shit. Fish sauce and sambal and things like that. But we're making a bastardized version. We're going to have some coconut milk, some tomatoes, some mushrooms, of course some shrimps, lime. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do here, I got a little sesame oil on this pot here. We're going to put these mushrooms in and saute them. A little bit, and uh, I'll show you the broth and all. Now I've never used either one of these uh, samples here, uh, flavor bases, so this could turn out to taste like total shit or it could be good. We're gonna find out. Got this quick little saute here on these uh, mushrooms. Just throw these uh, petite diced tomato in there. Now, traditional Tom Yam, you would have some uh, stock going in there, be it a shrimp stock or a fish stock. Since I don't have that available, I added some water. We're going to use a couple of these cubes here, Caldo chicken stock. Also, usually you'd use a chili paste, like a sambal oblique or something like that. I don't have that either. And I just realized I'm out of sriracha. So what we're gonna use here is this shit right here called Maggie Spicy Seasoning. This shit is like liquid fire, so this should do the trick. We need some heat off in this soup. You know I like my stuff spicy. Next thing I'm gonna put in is in this soup we would normally put cilantro and lime juice. And I'm still gonna put some fresh lime juice, but we're gonna use this concentrate here and see what it tastes like. Now it looked like some shit of alien done turned it out his ass. We hope it tastes better than that. But we'll find out. I'm just gonna put a big spoonful in there. Like so. Now, I think I came from the, that's probably from one of the gray ones. And then we're gonna put a spoonful of this fire roasted poblano in there as well. Put some chili flavor, fresh chili flavor. Since we ain't got no fresh chilies. Next thing I have here is some coconut milk. We're gonna put that in here too. There we go. We're gonna let it start to simmer. We'll give it a stir. I'm also gonna go ahead and throw some of that fresh squeezed lime juice off in there too. I got a couple of limes here. We're gonna squeeze the juice off in there. Okay, it's time to get this here a little stir. Once that uh, coconut milk gets heated all the way up, all the little coconut fats will kind of break down in here and this will look a lot better than it does at the current moment. So I just got done did doing them uh, shrimps up there and peeling the skins off. I bought these up this morning. It's kind of hard to eat them uh, shells if you got them in the soup there. So we got our soup going a nice roaring simmer. What I'm going to do here, I got this 10 minute success rice here. I'm going to dump that in there. Let it go for 10 minutes. Throw our shrimps in there. And our soup should be ready. We'll see what it tastes like. So before I started filming, I did uh, take a little taste of each one of the bases to make sure they weren't completely uh, out of line. They both had pretty good uh, flavor characteristics, so 
this is a way for me to kind of try out some new products, see if I like them, or if I can use them in a mass volume, or if uh, it's easier to just chop up my own cilantro and roll on. But the cilantro one actually tastes pretty cilantro-y. Yeah, doesn't taste fake or nothing, so uh, it could have some good use like in a cilantro lime rice or something. So I just dropped that rice in there. I wish you motherfuckers could smell this shit. It actually smells... Mmm, absolutely delicious. Very aromatic. I think it's gonna be delicious. We're gonna find out soon enough. So, it's been 10 minutes since we dropped that rice in there. Trying to cut the power off here. Dump our shrimps in. There we go, folks. Here's the finished product. Beautiful soup. You can see the steam coming off. I'm going to wait just a second before I put it in my mouth. But we'll give it a taste test. I think it's going to be delicious. Okay. Let's give it a shake. Mmm. Mmm. That is really, really, really good. Mm. Well, as you can see, I didn't care for that soup at all. That was delicious. If you want to make that soup at home, it's a great summertime soup. Light, brothy soup, spicy, delicious. If you don't have those flavor concentrates, I'm sure you can order some online somewhere. Those are the uh, minus uh, flavor concentrates, roasted poblano and uh, cilantro lime. Thank you for joining me today. Excuse me. Mm, not bad manners, just good soup. Have a good day.